Hello there YouTube, Ken here, also known as SilentFan85. Welcome back to another serious mode, Engaged. Uh, <laughs> it's relatively serious, not real serious. Uh, when I do this, these videos, it's sometimes really, you know, I'm trying to empower you or I'm trying to make you feel how awesome you are. And I'm attempting to do the same thing here, but at the same time, I'm not, too. I'm trying to touch on a subject that's actually very dear and near to me, uh, and that subject is Planet Earth. Uh, here's the thing. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a bit of a deep thinker. I'm a bit of a hippie. I care about our world. Kill me. Um, and the thing is, I try to do what I can, and I, I try to look for the people in power that might actually benefit the planet instead of just trying to destroy it or do something stupid that might wipe out part of the civilization that we have today. Uh, well, mostly civilization. Let's face it, some of it isn't very civilized. But, um, you know, the thing about it is that a lot of people, we get caught up in daily life. You know, we keep going on our way, we hang out with our family. Obviously, these are the most important people in our lives. Um, and we forget what we're walking on. Uh, and what I do from time to time, and I got this from a book. Uh, what I do from time to time is I'll look up at the night sky. Not a whole lot of stars where I'm at because of light pollution. If you don't know what light pollution is, uh, light particles get caught up in the stratosphere, I believe, and uh, cause the stars in the sky to be not visible at all. In fact, you've got to get above a certain level uh, of the stratosphere to actually see these stars anymore. Now, back when we were cavemen and everything, you could see them all the time. I mean, it's, inc it's, it's crazy. But and in certain parts of the world, still today, you can but unfortunately, here in the U.S., where I'm at, again, lots of light going on. Which, obviously, electricity is our best friend. We, we take advantage of it every day. But it also comes with its consequences. How do we power electricity? Uh, you know, what, what does it cause? It causes us to miss sights. Like, again, a sky full of stars and all this and that. And I think what happens with that, it's a psychological effect that it has on people. Because, in my opinion, folks that live in a country that can see the stars in the sky are going to be a little bit more imaginative and a little bit more thinking about Earth because they look at what's out there and they realize that, you know, there are stars in the sky. We live on a planet. Uh, this, it's a living thing. You know, it's, it's not just a rock floating through space. It's not an asteroid. It's not the moon. It, it, it's a rock with a life on it. Um, and I think a lot of people forget that. And so when you can't see the stars in the sky, I think a good majority of the population just tends to forget about the scientific part of it forgets about the biological part of it and just you know we go on from our day to day which is important i'm not i'm not saying you know you should give up your regular everyday life your job or whatever just to, to help the environment now what i'm really saying is just to do what you can with what you have um you know i i try to do what i can it's not a lot i'll be honest it's not a lot uh, i could be a lot more involved however stuff within my power um I try to do. I try not to pollute. I throw away my trash, um, you know, respectively, do what I can. I try to sort. Uh, and I've actually just in the last year or two since I got married and um, all this and that, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been trying to sort out. Uh, we, we have it at work now where we can sort plastic from paper. Uh, and so, you know, it really, it really helps because it helps to get rid of it in a certain way. Um, and I'm hoping, because this happens a lot of time with the government, I'm hoping... Uh, that it's actually being destroyed the proper way. Uh, a lot of times they'll take the cheap way out, um, and it can cause toxins to get in the water, and you know, and stuff like that. And it can just, it can really affect the environment. And again, I'm going to this total hippie speech, but it's something to really think about because the thing is, is that from generation to generation of humanity that's been on this earth, it seems like we have gotten progressively worse with sapping from the earth. Um, we are over 7 billion people strong. It's estimated that by the middle, by, by around 2050, we're going to be about 9 or 10 billion people living on this planet. People are going to want to bathe. People are going to want to eat. People are talking about going to Mars. And actually, I just recently watched a Bill Nye video on this. People are talking about going to Mars, building a colony and all this and that. But the thing is, why not try to save Earth? A lot of people think, oh, it's beyond redemption. We've already fucked it up. I don't think so. We're still living here. We're still breathing. There's still oxygen in the air. There's still plants in the ground. There's still a good chunk of wildlife. Some of them have been wiped out. But we still have a very good chance of saving the Earth. Um, 
if we get our heads on straight, if we don't take advantage of it. And that's, you know, that's that's the biggest problem with humanity is that as a whole, um, we don't entirely learn from our mistakes until it's too late. Uh, and, you know, the same thing can be said about a single person. The average person, it takes them uh, a couple of tries or a couple of failures to learn the best way to do something. And I think that represents humanity as a whole, too. Uh, you know, sometimes it's too late. Sometimes, you know, there's not much you can do. But um, I think we're in a point right now to where we can think about our kids and our, our kids' kids and our kids' kids' kids. Um, and we can, you know, we can leave them a planet that brought us up, you know, the, the why we are here. Um, and, you know, I, I, often, I often go on this thing about creationism versus evolution. And the truth is, no matter how we got here, we still have a planet. Uh, to look after and to look after ourselves and, to, you know, to make it better as much as possible. Um, and it's, it's just crazy that people forget that in the everyday life. You know, we, we, take, we take such advantage of our technology and our, uh, you know, just walking around in this fear that we're walking in that's enveloped by other spheres rotating around a damn hot sphere that is a part of another uh, cluster of planets and galaxies and just all kinds of stuff, and don't even get me started on alien life. I can make a whole other video about that, but essentially what I'm saying is to never forget that we live on a planet. This planet is alive. Um, it was dead at one point, now it's in life. At some point, again, it'll be dead. You know, there's not much we can do about that. That's just part of the system uh, that is life. Uh, and, you know, weather's going to change, but the thing is, too, is that we can affect that as well, because, again, as 7 billion people strong, we are huge impact on this world, rather be it for good or evil. Good or bad, not evil. Uh, and, you know, and that's that's a lot. That's a big impact that we can have. We are the most populated species on the planet, aside from insects and possibly birds um, and fish at some point. But uh, but we have the most impact because we think for ourselves, we, ha we have our independent ways, um, and we are the most advanced out of the species. Um, and we're always going to have an effect no matter what we do. And so we need to think about that. And I think, unfortunately, uh, you know, at some point, hopefully humanity will think it's a collective, not be barred down with wars and, um, you know, this space is my space, stay out of my space before you know, something happens, all this and that. Uh, and I'm not trying to say, oh, create a one-world government. No, but at some point we have to, you know, we have to set shit aside and look at this as a whole of humanity. And just say, look, we're in trouble if we don't fix this. Um, stuff is being done today. There was recently a summit where they signed signed a few things to make sure that some stuff is insured for the future and all this. But until we really have a global event that affects us all, and unfortunately, I think that's what it's going to take. Um, it's it's I can only see it being very bad. That's just unfortunately the way I see it because that's, that's the only way we learn is when something really big happens. Uh, and humanity can look at it and go, oh shit, we fucked up, you know. And again, the same can be said for the average human being. Uh, and then when you look at humanity as a collective, it's going to represent the same thing. So, you know, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But history has proven otherwise, and history repeats itself. Uh, as much as we don't like to hear that sometimes. But, you know, hopefully things can change. I mean, heck, there was at one point on this planet, we weren't even here. It was just animals everywhere, reptiles, big-ass beasts, and not even that. It was just full of lava at one point. So, you know, things change, uh, rather for good or bad. Um, but I'm hoping we as humanity, we being the smartest species on the planet so far, as far as we know, um, you know, we can, we can curve that change to something good. And again, call me a hippie, call me an optimist, call me, a, uh, you know, a pie-in-the-sky sort of guy. But... You know, it's it's within our capability. We 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 do not want to short sell ourselves on this. And people will tell you that. People will say, "Oh, we can't do anything. Climate change isn't real. All this and that." And you know, the truth is, when people when people talk to me like that, I just want to slap them and actually say, "Are you serious? Do you know how you got here? Do you know how much the weather changes? Do you 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 realize that fall to you know fall, winter, spring, summer, that's a change in the weather." That's weather change. It's a part of a climate which changes. And we go through big changes. It's a cycle of Earth. Because unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to believe in science. 
which is another shortcoming uh, that I see coming uh, with previous generations. But thankfully, with my generation, we have the Internet now. We are the most informed. We are the most connected. We may be the most disconnected in real life when it comes to relationships, friendships, and all this and that, but we are coming together in that form in a digital age. Uh, and again, that, that digital age can have repercussions. We have to keep it alive. We have to keep it powered somehow. And hopefully at some point we'll come across to that. But anyway, I've been rambling on for going on ten and a half minutes. But again, it's just something to think about. When you go about your everyday life and you look at dogs, you look at your cat, or you look at your, your spouse, you know, they're all they're, we're all a part of the planet. We're all walking on the same sphere that's floating through, through space that's protected by a layer um, of air, ozone, and whatnot. And uh, we're, we're breathing because of that. And we're walking above on land because, you know, water is at a certain point. It'll rise. It'll ebb. Um, but, you know, at some point things change. And we can have an impact on that. So it's just something to think about. But anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I know this isn't usually gaming related, but, you know, I try to throw some real life stuff up that I really get on my mind. And uh, I hope you folks agree with me. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, for now, I'll say salute. Oh, and remember, you're an awesome human being. Never let the world tell you otherwise. See ya.